Now at 5 o'clock, city leaders in Fishers are recognizing a need for more education on suicide. As CBS 4's Jesse Wells reports, a man died of suicide in front of the Fishers Police Headquarters. Walking inside the Fishers Police Department and picking up a phone, a 68-year-old man dialed 911 and reported he intended to kill himself. Officers tried to de-escalate the situation by asking the man to step outside, which he did, before taking his own life. Our officers, we grieve with this family. Um, it's, you know, this is tragic. And every time we have a tragedy like we did last night, it's a, it's a constant reminder that there's still work to be done, making sure that people that are in a mental health crisis can seek the help that they need. Both Fisher's mayor and police chief agree preventing suicides starts by encouraging conversations about mental health which is the goal of the city's website, Stigma Free Fishers. There's such a social stigma around it that that in itself is the biggest impediment for curing it. I think you want to make it okay to not be okay. A search of online numbers shows in 2019, 975 Hoosiers died from suicide, which translates to one death every eight hours, making it one of the most common causes of death especially among youth. It's the second leading cause of death for ages 25 to 34. Um, it's the third leading cause of death for 10 to 24. So those are some young kiddos that are struggling. While suicide numbers nationwide saw a decline in 2019 and preliminary numbers show another decrease in 2020, Kelsey still encourages everyone to reach out and help friends, family and neighbors as soon as they see warning signs of mental issues. No, it's never too early to have conversations about mental health. Through these conversations, we're able to get people help. Jesse Wells, CBS 4 News. Now, we want you to know there is help out there. If you know anyone who needs assistance, the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline, that number is right there on your screen. It's 1-800-273-8255. You can also find this number attached with this story online, as well as more resources at CBS4Indy.com.